From Fox 59 Sports, this is Football Friday Night, powered by Royal Spa and the Way Skillman Auto Group. Inside the Fox 59 studio, welcome to Football Friday Night. I'm Dave Griffiths, and what a Friday it is. Not only prep football, but IndyCar at Indianapolis Motor Speedway as well. On the gridiron, we'll check in on a few state champs from last year, Carmel Bishop Chittard and nominate two athletes for our weekly Shelbourne Knee Center Play of the Game. To IMS, the final practice for Carb Day is in the books. We'll recap the day and hear from a few of the fastest drivers in the last on-track action before Sunday's green flag flies. All those stories, plus the Colts expect to have quite the productive running back group in 2020. We will hear from the veteran of that squad, Marlon Mack, in just about 20 minutes. But first, the much-anticipated start of high school football. Last fall, Carmel won in the 6A state championship. And the Greyhounds will be one of the favorites to wind up in Lucas Oil Stadium yet again. Their opener on the road in Plainfield as the Quakers hosted Senior Day for their first game of the season. Athletes and their families taking a few special moments out there on the track. Carmel ball in the red zone. Zachary Osborne, the keeper, he fumbles, but Buckland Robbins, Johnny on the spot in the end zone, jumps on it. The Hounds go up 7 to nothing. Then more Greyhound offense. Osborne back to pass, finds Daniel Mullins out there in the flat. Running through tacklers, fighting for extra yardage. Carmel just uh, fighting for extra yardage all day and able to gain quite a bit of it. Colton Parker in the end zone for the touchdown. Carmel cruises. 31 to 6 is the final over Plainfield. A good start for the reigning state champs, clicking early. Preseason number one in 6A this year, though, is Center Grove, the runner up to Carmel. Last year's 6A title game hosting Decatur Central. DC punting, but didn't go very far. Hold on a second. Caden Curry got his paws on it. And scoops and scores the other way. Gotta love the big man in the end zone. Center Grove on the board. Back to the Aux on offense, but not for long. Picked off Jackson shot there. The Trojans take over on offense. And there Carson Steele, favored for Indiana, Mr. Football, showing why. No trouble getting through the defense there and into the end zone. 56 to 14, CG with the win tonight. West Side Rivals now, a preseason top five matchup. Brownsburg visiting Ben Davis. Pick up the action in the second quarter with Brownsburg on top, 14-0. Ben Easter's looking deep. Dylan Holland there down the sideline with the catch and the score. 21-0. Bulldogs looking stout. Ben Davis's turn on offense now. But hold on. Chris Williamson, the interception, one of his two picks on the night. Great to see him come back healthy after a torn ACL last year. Brownsburg capitalizing with Cade Carter, the 20-yard touchdown run. 38-7, Brownsburg makes a statement in a battle of top five teams. Avon finished the 2019 regular season undefeated, number one in Class 6A, but then lost its playoff opener. Tonight, some top quarterbacks on display as Avon's taken on Donovan McCauley, IU Commit, and Lawrence North. But Henry Hessen, pretty good himself, looks over the middle, finds Wallace Stovall, and Stovall outrunning the LN defense for the touchdown. This one a shootout, 35-27 at the time. LN comes back. Allie Richardson barrels into the end zone from eight yards out. It's 42-27, Lawrence North. And after that, McCauley finding some time, buying some time with his feet. A little toss to Jaden Longest. Another touchdown, 48-27 at the half. Orioles, though, not down easy in that second half. It is Hessen again to Stovall again. Great catch, but the catch are too much. 62-34, defense optional as Lawrence North gets the win tonight. We'll stay in Lawrence Township. Lawrence Central hosting Hamilton Southeastern. First quarter action. Jace Alexander for HSE plows into the end zone. The Royals, an early seven zip advantage. Now the Bears driving, trying to get that tying score, but Giovanni Raglan, the nice pick on the sidelines, keeps LC from scoring. So then it will be the Royals' turn to take over. On offense, down the field methodically, Blaine Wirtz, another short touchdown for HSC, and the Royals cruise to a 24-0 win. One more Hoosier Crossroads Mick crossover game tonight. Zionsville visiting Pike. Pike down three zip, but on offense here, this is not going to help this play. Some great pursuit from Otto Kyler. Drags down the ball carrier in the backfield. Red Devils ultimately on that drive, though, no worries. Anthony Cialdella finds Chris Mitchell in the flat. Mitchell just stays in bounds and reaches across the goal line. 6-3, Pike on top. Zionsville now with the ball, trying to strike back. Pass over the middle, tipped and picked off by Joseph Jefferson. Every point was important tonight. Pike 
holds off Zionsville 26 24. Bishop Chittard won its Indiana record setting, record extending rather, 14th state championship in 2019. A tough test to open 2020 with a Circle City Conference showdown visiting Brebuff. Those are the Braves coming out. First possession, Chittard's Carter St. John scrambling for the first down, able to fight through a few tackles to get it. So the Trojans stay in business. St. John now going to the air, lofting it up to the near side. Thomas Coleman right at you for the touchdown. Chittard able to strike first. Rebuff trying to answer. Drake Hagerman back to pass. Buying time. Looking deep to Anthony Annie. That catch brings him inside the five. You already see the final score, but we'll show you one touchdown from Rebuff. Nevertheless, Hagerman to Braden Sanders on the far side for the score. Chittard's strong second half sends him to a 27-14 victory. Cathedral and Westfield in Hamilton County. Westfield, Max Webster, quarterback. Back to pass. Looking over the middle, Reed Shepherds threads the needle to him. That's a touchdown, still trailing 15 to seven. Cathedral with the ball now, Nathan McCahill finds uh, in the flat. There he goes down the sideline. That is a touchdown. And the final score will be 58, 56 to 20, Cathedral. Lutheran. Go to the Saints, undefeated in 2019. Their season, though, ended in a heartbreaking state championship game loss. But now the Saints are back with title hopes this year, playing up against 4A Beach Grove. Hornets with the ball and looking long. Gavin Mitchell to Jordan Murphy. 27-yard touchdown, but they're down 31-21. That quarterback, Gavin Mitchell, not done. Here on a keeper, sticks his nose in there and Dives over the goal line, 31-28 at half, so Beach Grove getting closer to Lutheran. But Lutheran in the second half proved to be too strong. Blake White to Joe Fobian on the near side. That's two feet inbounds. That's good in the NFL. Nice catch, 66-35 Lutheran with the win. Tri-West Bruins kicking off 2020, visiting Speedway. Tri-West up by eight in the third quarter. Quarterback Kai Ross finds Bryce Hendershot here on the right sideline, and Bryce able to toe tap down the sideline for the score, Bruins up 21-6, but Speedway catching back up. Senior Evan Owens, the pass to Carson Harrison for the touchdown. It was not nearly enough for the spark plugs as Tri-West cruises 34-13. On the home field in Noblesville, the Millers hosting Mount Vernon. Noblesville down by two scores, but here inside the five from the full house backfield. Chance Yeager in for the touchdown, make it 14 to seven. Mount Vernon still on top, but here Vernon receiving the punt, drilled, picked up by Ryland Cole. Cole showing that he should maybe be the guy back there returning punts for Mount Vernon. Takes it, breaks a few tackles, and then beautifully finds his way 69 yards for the touchdown. Mount Vernon wins 42-17. More high school football still to come, some great action, but whose play was the best of the night? Shelbourne Knee Center play of the game nominees are ahead. Plus, we visit Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the final day of Indy 500 practice. Football Friday night continues next on Fox 59.